change is always constant but when the change is for the good well we should always embrace it but with every change in anything in a life there comes challenges there comes pros and cons and the latest change which is going to happen is in your csir net and dbt beat exam so in today's video we're going to do a complete analysis we're trying to find out what exactly went right wrong what are the pros and cons of this new merger which is going to happen and what exactly is going to happen yesterday at around 10:27 am csir net broke the news and uh, this news directly reached us saying that let us merge csir net and dbt beat exam now we all have been talking about something like this since long in fact one of my previous videos i have talked about why do we have so many exams why can't we just have one exam but uh, having multiple exams has its own benefits we'll talk about that also and why csir net and dbt is doing that we'll talk about that also now as you all know that the csir net exam is also conducted by the nta and dbt beat exam is also being conducted by bt along with nta now what is happening is since both the exams are anyways happening by the same exam conducting authority so they can easily merge previously it was two different organizations but why this consultation is still happening and why it has not happened is because who will give the funding what will be the categories the syllabus is different the dbt beat exam tests different things and csir net is testing different things how do we merge things right so that is why this consultation has happened now any kind of consultation generally takes up to one year to materialize that means we may not see dbt beat and csir net exam merging this year even in december it's not happening why because after they have done the consultation which will go on for 6 months they will have to consolidate analyze have internal debates so basically we are looking at june of 2026 that's when this merger might happen so all those who are tense please don't be but something is very interesting and that is the syllabus change right so back in 2006 when csir net converted from two papers there used to be two papers and it was not a computer board based mode it was two papers one was paper 1 which will be mcq where paper 2 will be subjective and the results used to come after 6 months you know so then in 2007 8 they changed it to only one paper and only mcq right and uh, i remember that time people were really like okay oh, oh my god this is going to be tougher but things became better right so now also when they going to merge definitely things will get better okay for them obviously and for us also but the syllabus change is going to be interesting now the moment we look at the syllabus like i can uh, show you on the uh, screen right now if you see there are two to three new lessons or chapters added for example bioinformatics and computational biology this is added then we are looking at a uh, new name of uh, biochemical engineering and industrial biotechnology of course this is a new uh, thing added now we also see advances in biotechnology so these are the three new uh, things which is added and apart from that we see ecology and behavioral biology instead of ecology and evolution now it is ecology and behavioral biology so we are looking at now 14 units instead of 13 but yeah they have carefully crafted what this means for you is competition is going to get tougher you will need more coaching support than earlier of course uh, the third thing is uh, but hey this is not happening this year this will happen next year so calm down choice of questions because remember i said that csir is running out of questions but because of this new merger now they will be able to come up with more questions and students who are not from the biotech maybe from the core bio uh, biology like zoology and botany will be now at a disadvantage because majority of it is biotechnology not only core biology so this is a disadvantage for zoology and botany students but having said that uh, if anybody qualifies this exam the chances are they'll become better researchers they'll be more industry ready so i welcome this change however for the students is going to be a daunting task it is going to be more mirchi in your plate of questions so probably the number of questions also might increase we don't know that yet but given that even if that doesn't happen the variety of questions and um, you know 
the way it is spread across the weightage across units it's all going to get disrupted so basically we are looking at 2026 as the uh, year of disruption for cs hanet and dbt aspirants which is good as well as bad good for uh, you because now you have only one exam to write bad because now you have only one chance right but probably if dbt gets merged with cs hanet cbt cs hanet uh, Will still happen two times or will it happen only one time? That's something we don't know. Maybe it will happen, maybe not. But even that has been under uh, talks a lot of time. That why we should have two exams, why not one exam? But, uh, you know, maybe after the merger we'll know that as well. But right now there's no confirmation. So 2025 is the only year when you should write CSN it with whatever is the syllabus and do it uh, right because next time competition will be higher, the syllabus will be tougher. And if you're from core biology like zoology and botany, you are at disadvantage. Now, having said that, what is the news for the DBT aspirants? Now, DBT aspirants, you remember earlier you had lesser competition than CS Hanan because CS Hanan is mother of all exams. So, there used to be 70,000 while in DBT hardly 10,000 people will write. So, now, suddenly, your competition has increased. So, people who only used to write biotech, DBT, BET exam, now you have, you have to compete with 70,000 or 80,000 more people, right? And that is a bad news for you. And having said that, the thing which you, are, you can always take up is a challenge. The challenge is going to be, how would you qualify this exam next year? How do you prepare for it next year? A lot of new things are going to come up. And that is why Biotechnica is going to launch a special batch for all of you. From 1st of July, we are we going to start a batch as well as from 1st of June also there is going to be a batch it's going to be called the Lakshya 2026 CSIR and DBT exam batch and there we are going to train you for the new syllabus apart from whatever regular we teach so even you know, we will make sure that you are ready for the December exam as and the June exam whatever happens next and you will also be ready for the 2026 exam now remember this disruption is going to be good for those who are adapting to the change. So, you remember the Charles Darwin theory? So, uh, it's not the strongest of the species, nor the uh, smartest of the species which will survive. It's the species which will adapt to change. So, if you adapt to this change this year, your chances of qualifying next year is high. And Biotechnica is the only place where we will train you not just for this year, but for next year combined exams also. So, what are you waiting for? Without panicking, enroll into Biotechnica's Laksha Batch, which is starting from 1st of June. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, any points you feel I should have mentioned and I missed, please put them down in the comment section. Because I believe when we all come together, we will win. But now, before I leave this video, I have three to four unanswered questions which I think we should ask CS, Hyannet and DBT. The first is, will the fellowship increase? Because if you're merging, you have more funds, right? Will the number of seats increase? Because if you're merging, you'll have more seats. You have more funds. The third, will it happen two times or only once, CSI and it? Number four, how would you do the weightage of the questions? Number five, will it be two shift or only one shift because you have more students now, right? And I think many more such unanswered questions remains. So put them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to compile a single email and I'll write it down to the head of HRDG on your behalf and I'll make sure that they reply with some kind of detailed information about this as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining, keep preparing for CSIR and DBT only with Biotechnica. Take care.